Hello, my name is Miss Garnet, and this is a short video on why you should take Religious Studies GCSE. So this is a really interesting topic, so I'm going to go through those with you in a moment. The exam system is really structured, really fair and really easy to learn how to do. You will spend a lot of time debating and discussing, and so your verbal skills by the end of the course are going to be excellent. Likewise, you are going to grow into independent thinkers. We're going to have lots of deep and meaningful conversations where you're really going to be able to clarify what you think on some of the most important areas of debate in the world. The purpose of the course is to help you understand the role and importance of religion in the world and how it influences people's life choices, how it influences politics and how it shapes the world that you live in. So this course is split into two different papers. Paper one is the study of religion. In this school, we do Christianity and Islam because they're the two biggest religions in the world. Over a third of the planet belong to one of these two religions. So knowing a little bit about them is gonna be really good for you. So we'll debate issues like what is God and if he's real, what does he look like? Why is Jesus so important in Christianity? What did he do? That means 2000 years later, he's still worth talking about. What happens after death? Is there life after death? What festivals are celebrated in Christianity and Islam? Should these religions try to convert others or should they leave it to each individual person's choice? How do Christians and Muslims respond to the issue of poverty and charity? In Islam, we're gonna look at the range of different prophets. We're gonna look at what angels are like and we're going to study a key part of the difference when it comes to what God is like as well. Paper two is a little bit different. Paper two is our themes topic. So this is our philosophy and ethics topic. The four subtopics that we're going to look at are human life and relationships, religion and life, peace and conflict and crime and punishment. On this paper, you're going to debate things like, is it ever OK to have sex before you're married? Should contraception be available to use? Is it OK to divorce people? And if so, what for? What should the role of women be in society? How should we treat animals? Should abortion be legal in Britain or should it be restricted? And then in peace and conflict, we've got what causes terrorism? And we're going to have a look at different terrorist groups from all kinds of different religions. We're going to talk about whether it's right to go to war. And if so, should there be any rules about what you can and can't do in a war? We're going to look at nuclear weapons and the idea of disarmament and whether that's realistic. We're then going to have a look at crime. Why do people commit crime? If so, they do commit crime, how should they be punished? And in particular, should we bring back the death penalty? Or actually, should we be building a legal system where we look to reform people rather than just punish them? Now, for each of these topics, you need to be able to tell me what you personally think. You'll get some marks for that. You need to tell me how a Christian might respond and how a Muslim might respond as well. And that's the content. So there's lots of things to debate. So we've got a variety of activities. We've got lots of videos. We've got loads of debates. We do lots of exam practice to make sure you're very well prepared for your exams, card sort, keyword quizzes and anything else fun that I can think of. Um, you will have me as your teacher if you choose to have this course and it will be five lessons over your two week timetable. At the end of year 11, you have two exams. They're both one hour, 45 minutes long. And we have lots of resources to help you prepare very well for both of these two exams. If you choose to take this, it leads very nicely into our A level. And from there, you can go into one of these subject areas. Lots more, but these are the main ones that I've had students go into. So one popular one is law education, social work, politics, medicine. So quite a few people wanting to be nurses, doctors, vets that are really interested in the medical ethics side of the course. Um, the media as well. So really getting to know people and what makes people tick um, is something that our course is very, very good on. If you have any more questions, please feel free to either drop me an email or come and find me and have a chat about it.